guys? It's Ty here with uh, Frost Mage Guide for DPS rotation, stats, Azerite traits, and talents. Um, real quick, just want to go through everything very fast. Uh, don't want to take up too much time. A lot of things have already been hit by previous videos. Um, so I just want to give you guys basically the, the rundown for this patch and something to kind of get you on your feet. If you've never either played Frost before or you've played Frost and don't feel like you're up to par, um, I'm just going to give you guys, you know, some insight on my my personal experience and what I think runs best uh, for this patch. Now, obviously, the patch is very fresh. It just came out, what, today's Friday? Just came out four days ago, three days ago. Um got my nose into normal uh tar Dazor or Dazar lore sorry um and we just started heroic tonight um so got to play with it a little bit uh got some videos up about those those runs if you want to check those out you could see uh some of the damage that was done there and uh positioning and stuff like that kind of help out all right so let's go into it we'll talk about stats quick stats Intel is going to obviously be your priority. Uh, spell power just increases your damage. Simple. Next is going to be crit, critical strike. Unfortunately, my critical strike is terrible. Um, I couldn't get lucky with any gear or anything like that as far as uh, as far as crit goes, but it is what it is. I deal with it. Um, everything else as far as gems and, and enchants, I've just been stacking crit trying to make up for what i wasn't able to get as far as gear um and then after crit crit you crit you want to be at 33 percent you want to push crit to 33 percent um it's a very high number but with all the new uh 385 gear 370 gear with mythic zeros that you can get now gear shouldn't be that much of an issue to get to get your nose into the new raid um so yeah, uh, crit, try and push as high as 33% as you can. Once you get around that number, uh, you're going to go haste. Haste is awesome. I always love haste. I've always played classes that need haste, so I always push haste no matter what the situation is. Uh, right now, my haste is one of my better stats, um, sitting about one around 1k, which is roughly the number that you want to sit at. For me, in my personal opinion, 1k is like that that number, that that grace spot where you're you're doing your 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 spells are getting casted out uh fairly quickly so um you can go with haste and then followed by that you're gonna go right back into crit <laughs> that i'm assuming you're just gonna need a ton of gear because if you're at 33 percent and then you're getting more crit after that that's that's just insane all right so that's it for stats uh mastery and versatility just don't even worry about them honestly you're gonna try and literally just work case and crit um as right traits as right traits flash freeze flash freeze is your number one trait by a long shot that i happen to get lucky on i have three pieces with uh flash freeze on them so i'm i think the number if you the best site to honestly refer to is uh blood mallet uh, bloodmallet.com they're very good very accurate honestly if you want to get your exact numbers it gives you numbers on the site itself you just punch in the numbers on a calculator add it up and then that's the total amount of damage it'll increase roughly um yeah luckily i got uh all three flash freeze so yeah flash freeze is going to be your number one trait if you have new Azerite pieces that came out in 8.5, you're lucky because you get two tier one Azerite traits. So your first tier slot would be a number one tier Azerite trait, followed by your second tier slot, which would be a number one Azerite trait. So like I said, I got lucky. I got, I got three of those already. So now I've been just working, just trying to get treacherous covenant that is your number two treacherous covenant it's um as long as you're above 50 percent health um you increase your primary stat by i, I think it's like 20 percent or certain, some, something crazy 
Uh, here, I have it right here. I'll show you right now. Uh, increase your primary stat by 334 while you're above 50% health. And that's basically it. It's just a stat increase. Um, that's your number two. And then number three, for me, on a personal preference, I like to go with Glacial Assault. Uh, Blood Mallet refers to, I guess, it's like daggers in the back and uh, some other Azerite traits that I don't really worry about. Um, but to me, Glacial Assault is the number three trait you want to go for, only because it's a AoE and single target increase instead of with like daggers in the back daggers in the back is is purely single target in my my aspect um glacial assault is comet storm is a comet storm proc uh so right now i'm running with the uh splitting ice tr uh, tr talent instead of comet storm because right now i'm basically using comet storm on a proc and i'm also taking advantage of splitting ice which leads me into talents. I'm not going to really get into talents that much. Talents haven't really changed throughout the whole expansion. Um, some people run with Lonely Winter. I prefer to run Bone Chilling. Excuse me. I like the fact to have my Elemental because I have my uh, Elemental Spell uh, Freeze on on a Keybind. So that's just another utility right there. So I don't like to get rid of my Elemental like that. Um, and I do enough damage as it is to just you know not have to worry about running with lonely winter so i stick with bone chilling shimmer there's a lot of pros to having shimmer uh you have two blinks so with me i use it for positioning as you see in some of my videos i'll be casting a spell like this and then i'll blink and then be able to cast a spell so you can instead of having to cast your spell interrupt the cast and then run to your position and then cast the spell again you just blink and then cast a spell on the on the fly. It's awesome, awesome for positioning, awesome for keeping your parses uh, as high as possible. Um, I would always recommend Shimmer. Uh, in Cantor's Flow, some people run Rune of Power. That's you're you're moving around, especially with this raid, you move around a ton. So um, casting Rune of Power is not going to be as valuable as just having encounters flow where you don't have to worry about casting another spell you just have some you have a dps increase on the flow uh next one ebon bolt ebon bolt's ebon bolt it's uh the same as legion uh as your artifact uh artifact weapon spell it's the same thing this one to me you're able to control when you want to use flurry so let me show you real quick. I'll just cast a couple, just to get a flurry proc real quick. Let's see how many it takes. It'll probably take forever because I'm trying to do a video, but we'll see. So I have a flurry part, right? Now, right now I have flurry and glacial, uh, glacial spike. So I can cast flurry followed by ice lance. Then I can cast my ebon bolt to get another flurry proc. Class Glacial Assault, and followed by Flurry Ice Lance. That right there is a ton of DPS because it's you're following everything up with um, instance, instant casts. So I'll get more into it on a, on the rotation side of it, but Ebon Bolt is basically your go-to on this this tier. Uh, not gonna go into frigid winds splitting ice. I went to a little bit about it's uh, it, it goes hand in hand with your Azerite trait flash freeze um, And then I also picked it because I already have glacial assault trait. So I have comet storm Already so there's no need for me to go with comet storm comet storm would be your second your second trait that you go with you can use comet storm in uh, Mythic plus that's a really good situation to use it in but like I said, I, even in Mythic Plus, I still run with Splitting Eyes because of my Flash Freeze. Uh, and the last tier, Glacial Spike. Glacial Spike, I'm, <laughs> to me, there's Thermal Void would be the other one. Air Frost is completely out. But Glacial Spike, to me, is just, it's it's kind of like a Chaos Bolt for Frost Mages, honestly. Um, I've seen as high as 200k crits at 385 item level, I think I am. 384 equipped, so... I've seen crits, tremendous crits, and it also flows very well 
on the rotational uh, spectrum. And I'll show you in the rotation right now. So I'll run through a quick rotation uh, just to give you a, just quick and basic. So you're gonna run with frost frost bolt until you get some procs. Basically, it's, it's that's how frost is. You're really casting until you get prods. So now I have my glacial spike up. I see that ice lance. If you have two ice lances, you never want to stack the ice lances. So you're gonna cast one to get rid of the uh, the stack. You never want to overlap stacks. So you have a possibility of getting another one like that. So now I have flurry, ice lance, and glacial sp spike. You're going to want to cast Flurry, always followed by an Ice Lance. A flurry, no matter what, will always be followed by an Ice Lance because it will give you an instant Ice Lance crit. Then after you cast Flurry and Ice Lance, you will cast Ebon Bolt to give you another Flurry proc. Glacial Spike, followed by Flurry Ice Lance. Tons of crits that just came out of there. <laughs> Tons. Now imagine if I actually had 33% crit. It would be insane. So um, that's basically your, your rotation right there. You're just gonna keep doing that over and over again and you're just gonna keep going. Frost mages are based off of procs on the rotation. So I can't really sit there and say, you have to cast this, you have to cast that. No, you gotta cast procs and you have to see which, which priorities are best used when. Obviously to keep your parses up, to keep your, your, you know, your logs in check while on the move, you're gonna cast your you know, your instant spells, your flurry procs, you know, stuff like that. So I'll run through a quick, I'll do, I'll do it one time. I'll do a quick uh, rotation, full rotation with time warp and icy veins. So obviously you'll, you'll pop your pre-pot starting at two seconds on the timer. And then before the pull, you will cast frost boat. You'll pop time warp, ice lance, frost orb. Frozen Orb, Frostbolt, Frostbolt. I cast my Flurry, Ice Lance. Keep casting Frostbolt until you get another Flurry proc. And if you don't get it, I just keep casting my flash, my Ice Lances, Flurry, Ebon Bolt, Glacial Spike, Flurry, Ice Lance. As you saw there, that was a. Uh, I think it was 118k crit with uh, Glacial Spike. It's ridiculous. So, f I'll do it one more time. Just get rid of this Glacial Spike. This time I just won't have, uh, won't have Time Warp or Icy Veins. Just one more quick time. Also, macros, keybinds, those are, your, those are things that will optimize your DPS. Um, I macroed my uh, frozen orb to my minute and a half cooldown trinket, which I have fuse. So every minute and a half, I will have fuse up. Every minute, I have frozen orb. So they don't they don't line up, but they line up kind of similarly depending on the situation. I also have my uh, troll berserking macroed to my icy icy veins. So. That right there, I cast Icy Veins once, I automatically cast Berserk. Boom. Same with Frozen Orb. I cast Frozen Orb, automatically class my Trinket. So you don't even have to worry about popping your Trinkets, you don't have to worry about pop popping your Racials, it's already there. But yeah, I'll run through this one more time. So you're gonna cast your Pot, Frostbolt, Frostbolt, until you get your Flurry proc. Excuse me. So there's your flurry proc. You will class flurry, ice lance, ebon bolt. Oh, I fucked it up there, but you get the gist. It's gonna be. It's simple. Um, I have videos up. I just put them up uh, on the new raid and some mythic pluses. I think I only put one up so far, but there's more to come. Uh, you can check out positioning. And you can check out uh, actual full rotations and see what the actual burst looks like and i think the highest burst i've gotten to is like 37k uh it's it's kind of ridiculous at 385 with no crit it, it's just awesome but yeah if you have any questions uh comment below like um i, sh I have a stream link down below as well for twitch you can always contact me there um 
I'd be glad to help you whenever you need. I also do subscriber Mythic Plus runs, um, subscriber followers. Uh, I'll get you your 10 key for the week. So as long as you follow, you like, you come visit, you say hi, I'll get you in a 10, get you your uh, 415 gear for next week. I know you're going to want that. But yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate the views. And I'll